Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and in this video we're going to be covering the basics of adding a livery onto a vehicle. Um, I've been asked this question a couple of times recently in my Discord server where we do have a community support uh, channel where you can ask questions and I can either give you assistance um, or other people with developer knowledge can do that as well. So you are going to be needing a couple of things. Um, I am going to be using a vehicle that I've purchased from Trooper Quarantine, which is the 2021 generic sports car. Um, I've also got my livery, a transparent livery, and you're also going to be needing open IV. Um, the transparent livery you can make yourself, it can be a pixel by a pixel uh, with a transparent background in Photoshop or paint on it or whatever, save it as a PNG, and then you can use that in future reference. Or if you've been provided a template file, such as this one, you'll be able to design your own livery and put it onto the vehicle yourself. If you don't have someone to do that, there are plenty of designers around that will happily do that for you. They charge for anything between about five and 10 bucks a vehicle. So um, you're gonna be needing a program called OpenIV. Mine may look a little bit different to yours, um, only because I've got reshades. Um, I've got reshader and other graphics mods installed. But what you're going to want to do is go to the vehicle file itself. So you're going to, once you come into OpenIV, we're going to turn on edit mode so that we can edit the vehicle. And then you just want to select yes, click onto file, and then open. Then we're going to want to go to this here, this folder and then click on select folder so we can see all three files just here. Next, we're going to go into the vehicle and go into the vehicle files. I'm just going to select a random one and you'll see three vehicle files. The YFT files, this is to view the file, the view the vehicle. So such as this. So you can see that when purchasing the vehicle from him, he does provide a livery on it already. Um, and if you close out of that, this one will show you the exact same one is just high depth. The other one isn't. What we're going to do is come into the YTD file. Now, most developers, vehicle developers will call their, liv their liveries something sign. So if you ever need to look for it, best thing to do is just use the search bar and type in sign on some vehicles. It will appear at the very top. So we've got two liveries on this vehicle. So you've got livery one, which is going to be this fine with police one and livery two, which is transparent. This is eight pixels by eight pixels. So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to click on the replace button. If you don't see this up here, then just make sure you've got edit mode switched on. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on replace and then we're going to select our template with the design that we have. And then we're going to click on save. This is then going to put this livery onto the vehicle. Once you've then done that, open the vehicle back up in the YTD file, YTF file. Sometimes it may pop up with this. It's just a open IV thing. Just close it and then reopen the vehicle again. And just like that, your livery is now on the vehicle. Um, sometimes um, the window tint may look darker than it actually is. Sometimes you might not actually be able to see the vehicle fully because of the darkness. I've just heard a lot about it, about OpenIV recently. I'm not too overly confident with editing settings within OpenIV. Um, so I'm not going to make a video about it. I'm sure you, I'm sure there's other videos on YouTube or uh, tutorials on OpenIV's website or anything like that. Um, but just to also go back onto the transparent, let's, let's say that you wanted to add a transparent, so we're going to replace it with a transparent and then click save. And then we're going to reopen the file. And there you go. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, if you do have any other queries, feel free to hop into the Discord server and we'll hopefully help you there. Have a great day.